Percy's Day of Fun by Zenny Edwards and illustrated by Belen Ferez. A story time book read by books for kids with flying dragons. Mercy. Percy was a very playful platypus who lived in a land where no one else but platypuses lived. Percy loved to swim and play with all his friends who were, naturally, all platypuses. One summer day, Percy went for a cool dip in the water. Splash! In he jumped. He said so much fun. He's had so much fun in the water that he swam farther than he had ever dared. I can easily swim back, he boldly thought to himself. So on and on he swam. After a long while, Percy got tired. He felt cold too, for it was getting dark. As he surfaced, he discovered that he was in a strange place. What strange creatures, Percy whispered in awe. The animals who saw Percy thought him odd too, for they had never seen a platypus before. Percy saw two yellow ducklings diving near the bank. How strange, they're like me and yet not like me, he said, seeing their yellow duck bills and their yellow webbed feet. Perhaps I can make friends and they'll show me the way home. A giant duck! One duckling quacked upon seeing Percy. He's bigger than me, than two of us. They dashed to the bank as fast as their tiny webbed feet could take them. Oh, please don't go away, Percy called. But the ducklings just ran away. Then Percy saw a green speckled snake taking a cool drink of water. As Percy approached, the snake wriggled away, too frightened to even squeak. The butterfly that was flying by flitted away too, scared that Percy would make a meal of him. Percy was so tired and cold that he curled up, buried his head beneath his feet and tried to sleep. But he couldn't, as the biggest eyes he'd ever seen stared at him in the dark. Percy felt very sad. He didn't mean to scare anyone away. He just wanted to make friends. He missed all his playmates and wished he was safe at home. With a sigh, Percy, Percy fell asleep. The sun started to rise as Percy slept on. All the other animals were busy searching for their morning meal. A little mouse with a seed upon his head wandered to, wandered to where Percy slept. When he saw the huge round ball of fur, he squeaked, Help! Help! A giant mouse! This, Percy, this woke Percy, who said in his friendliest voice, Oh, please stop. I won't hurt you. But the mouse just scooted and hopped among the rocks and fallen branches. As he was yet very, yet very little, he fell into the water. Help, help, I can't swim, the poor little mouse squeaked even louder. The ducklings were too slow and far away to reach him, and the butterfly just flew frantically by. The frogs tried to help, but they were too small to carry him. Splash! went Percy, and in an instant he was in the water. He scooped the trembling mouse with his muzzle and gently carried him to safety. The animals saw what had happened. They cheered and clapped. Their friend Mouse was saved. Percy was a friend after all. They all gathered around Percy and asked, What is your name? Percy, and I'm a platypus, and I'm lost. Percy managed to say in one breath, A platypus, they all exclaimed. Oh yes, we know where you come from, but we are scared to go there. Are they all, all as, as good as you? they asked. Oh yes, yes, Percy smiled and nodded. Splash! Again he went. Percy was at last on his way home. He was so happy to have found such nice new friends. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe. We'd love to share lots more books with you too.